the Roman triumph was a grand public parade to celebrate and sanctify the military achievements of a successful Roman general. Originating from ancient Etruscan rituals, the triumph evolved into a political tool and a display of imperial power in Rome. Only awarded to commanders who achieved significant victories, the triumph was the highest honor in the Roman military. The procession began at the Field of Mars, winding through the streets of Rome to the Temple of Jupiter on the Capitoline Hill. Triumphing generals wore regalia resembling Jupiter, symbolizing their temporary divine status. The triumphator rode a four-horse chariot, displaying the spoils of war, including captured weapons, treasure, and captives. Soldiers followed the chariot, chanting traditional songs that mixed praise with ribaldry. Notable captives and defeated enemies were paraded, often meeting their execution at the end of the triumph. The triumph featured displays of exotic animals and artworks, showcasing the extent of Roman conquest and cultural dominance. A slave stood behind the general, holding a golden crown and whispering reminders of his mortality, symbolizing the fleeting nature of success. Triumphs fostered a sense of Roman identity and unity, reinforcing the power and effectiveness of the Roman state and military. The ceremony was religious in nature, with the general offering sacrifices to the gods, thanking them for his victory. A successful triumph increased the political capital of general, often propelling him to higher offices. The public spectacle of this triumph was a display of Rome's wealth and power to its citizens and to world. Over time, the triumph became more extravagant, reflecting the empire's growing wealth and cultural assimilation. The triumph was not just a military celebration, but also an important tool for propaganda and imperial ideology. Emperors later used triumphs to legitimize their rule and to celebrate military victories, even if they were not personally present on the battlefield. The triumphal arches, like the Arch of Titus, were constructed to commemorate these parades and became enduring symbols of Roman achievement. The last known Roman triumph was celebrated by Emperor Constantine in the 4th century AD. The tradition influenced later European victory parades, continuing the legacy of the Roman triumph. Despite its grandeur, the triumph could also be a subject of controversy and political maneuvering. The triumph reflected Rome's evolving relationship with military power and its integration into public and politically life. The cost of organizing a triumph was immense, often funded by the spoils of war. The triumph remains one of the most vivid representations of Roman culture, combining military, religious, and political elements. Today, the concept of the Roman triumph continues to capture the imagination as an ultimate symbol of victory and celebration in the ancient world.